The Gifted, Season 1, Episode 7, Thoughts. This episode is called Extreme Measures. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything live-action X-Men leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything that came after it. The, um, yeah, the show is rated TV-14, and so will this video be. Let's dive right in. So, we open on another flashback. I don't think I've mentioned before, but... Yeah, that is actually a pretty good, like, on good, like, like, device for telling these stories. And there are a number of comic books where, yeah, if you're reading the same series, the, the, each, maybe not every single issue, but a lot of the issues will open with a flashback that is relevant to stuff later in the, in the book. And, you know, you're, you're piecing together, like, the overall, you know, yeah, what what happened and in order to get us to where we are today. And yeah, we're seeing, you know, Marcos transition from the cartel to the mutant underground. Polaris mentions that Tinder has a lot of girls that are into mutants, which kind of sounds like she's talking about chasers, which... You know, for for continuing the the trans metaphor, and yeah, that yeah, the way she says it does kind of sound like you know, there's they're frustrating, but they're they're out there if if you you know feel like that kind of thing. And let's see, yeah, so back in the present, you know, John is going to try to find Clarice and. Yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense wanting to to help after how they used her. And yeah, we see Marcos not tell Polaris about the the cartel. And, you know, he consistently lies to her throughout the episode until she calls him on it. And you know, the, the, the sense that maybe he's sliding back into old habits. You know, if you're working for a cartel, obviously you got to lie to people who are not in favor of the cartel. That's kind of goes with the territory. But he doesn't usually lie to Polaris. So, yeah. You know, the, the um, Carmen is kind of like this textbook, you know, she's... Yeah, she's she's pulling him back into this. You know, there a lot of young men have said or done things that you know end up regretting, and yeah, you know, sometimes there are people who can pull, you know, pull one back into that sort of thing that has to be avoided. I suppose if we're going for like a, a very direct kind of, it's, it's um, um, allegory, it's maybe like drug addiction, which, you know, some minorities can, can struggle with that sort of thing, and yeah, it's really important to not have enablers and dealers around you, and, you know, and that also goes for this thing of, you know, hiding it from loved ones, and you know, yeah, sliding back into bad habits. I, I like the device that the, of this thing of, you know, she realized that the, the medallion was missing and, you know, points out he wore this when he worked for the cartel, you know, as a good luck charm. And let's see... Yeah, um, Wes again flirting with Lauren and, you know, she points out which, you know, yeah, that's a something that's explored over the course of the episode. Was it like you're, a, you're like a textbook bad influence, you know, and yeah, you know, makes it look like they're, they're, you know, floating over over water he's gotten real good 
and making the water move. And the, um, yeah, you know, I, he, they, they even do the thing where, you know, she, she holds her arms at, at, out at her sides. Look, Jack, I'm flying. I had to, I had, I was legally obligated to make that joke. It's too perfect. Her ex is, I, I'm guessing ex by now, is Jack. The same, the same pose, a guy is, is opening her eyes, like, it's just, sometimes you, you can't let something like that go. And Andy, so, I've imposed upon myself that there are certain words I won't use here, so let's just say that he, C-3PO's, he's, you know, Lauren, yet again, this is his second superpower. I think we're, we're starting to see, like, the, the yeah. He's really good at it, and and I like the thing of you know, the the, yeah, you know he was he was said it, it does look like he's talking, but he says no, you know, mom told me to, to find you, and and yeah, you know, they they go back to to Kate, and you know she's like where where were you? Oh, I you know I I checked the roof, and Laura's like don't tell her that you know does like little. You know, hit hits the the back of his head. You know, lightly, not like you know, brain damage or something. And you know, so so he's like, no, yeah, she wasn't up there. I I checked, but she wasn't up. You know, quality save, my dude. And let's see, yeah, uh, Jace talking to to Doctor Campbell, and. Yeah, the the this thing of yeah, you know, gradually Jace is is going along with more and more of what Campbell, yeah, and let's see, yeah, there's that conversation. You know, I have money, you have power. You put that together, Mauer pony, and. Yeah, uh, Kate is is you know teaching class, teaching about the the you know how genes are passed down through generations, and she even brings up the X gene in the ADR booth. I guess they managed to to separate it from the rest of them. I I don't know what the deal was with that. Like, did they couldn't actually have managed to get all the way through this? Maybe they ran out of time. I guess that's possible. Because, like, how do you do that scene and not bring up the X gene? That's, like, the most obvious... Yeah. And... Let's see. Yeah. You know, Reed talks to, to Kate about, you know, Wes is a criminal and, and lied to, you know, all of them about that. And I appreciate that later when we do find out, you know, yeah, he points out I was the front man, you know, I hid for the the rest of the, you know, and and yeah, that does make a lot of sense, you know, like he he robbed a jewelry store by himself, like yeah, superpowers, still by himself. That's the kind of thing that usually there's you know a crew for, and he he hid the rest of them because of his powers. And, and, you know, yeah, so that they could stay out of trouble despite doing this. And now the, the training has gone to the next level. Now they're, they're being blindfolded and have to, to yeah. <laughs> and I like Pilar's, you know, she, she can tell that Reed is, you know, turns around. You here to train? And he's like, no, no, no. <laughs> Which, yeah, like... They ended up, you know, working together. She's still probably not the president of his fan club. You know, she... Yeah. I I don't think she was going to throw the, the tile at his head. I think she was just messing with him. But, like, on some level, he doesn't feel confident that she's just messing with him. So, yeah. And... Let's see. 
then we have the yeah um Clarice you know looking for the, the road and it is this yeah you know the 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 SS have been hiding these mutant incidents so it's very difficult and she didn't get a look at it because she was knocked out at the time and yeah uh, the the DOJ official shows up and yeah makes some really good points and says you know you have to suspend this program and Jace is like you realize if you do this I'm gonna fight you with everything I have and she just says I guess you're in for a fight badass how is one of the biggest badasses of this episode the one who has zero superpowers and yeah we see uh, Polaris realize that Marcos lied you know she yeah she calls the the I forget Marietta and you know they say we don't have supplies and we haven't seen anyone and yeah, she finds the the medallion. Knows that he must be back with the cartel. And let's see. When when Lauren says to her parents, "I know you don't want me dating a mutant." Ah, that really cuts deep because yeah, she does really feel like Reed probably still does hate the mutants that he isn't related to by genes other than the X gene, you know, but yeah. And and yeah, she, you know, yeah, he tries to lay out what he's he's learned and she says you haven't changed, you know. Again, really appreciate this this conflict because it's very realistic from both you know, both the parents and the, the teenagers, yeah, th these are things that, yeah, stuff that actually happens. That's how, you know, people in those situations feel about. And, yeah, more great scenes of Clarice and John looking for the road. And and I appreciate that um, you know when when G, you know Jace tries to control the conversation as conservatives often do when they know they're wrong. It, you know he says, "Oh, these these are terrorists," and you know the DOJ official does not let that go and just points out, "You're talking about suspects of terrorism," and you know he he tries to lay out his his argument, and she points out. What you're saying, those arguments were used against Catholics in the 50s, Muslims in the 2000s. They didn't work then, they're not going to work now. You know, it just, yeah, very, very nicely done. You know, so, yeah. And, yeah, and the, the, the I, I'm not sure. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Um, apparently, going by the the face, the the character is Aid Parenthesis Hound. You know, uses his power to take out. You know. Yeah, take her out, and and again, you know, it's really it's really escalating. This is, you know, now you know, Dr. Campbell and, and the Hound are actually attacking people who work for the American government, you know. The, 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 um, yeah, un until recently, it was specifically, you know, okay, mutants and their allies. Those are the only ones we're going after, but now, you know, yeah. And... Yeah, Jason and Campbell talk, and Campbell keeps playing coy. And when Jace finally gets him to to admit, yeah, okay, that's you know that's what we did. The DOJ will send someone else, but not for several weeks. And the program is safe until you know, just yeah. 
and and then he he buries the the dagger. Grace would have been proud. Jesus. And let's see. Yeah, then we have the Right, um, yeah, we see that, you know, Sage can apparently, like, her her eyes move extremely fast, so I guess she can just read code extremely fast, which, yeah, you know, if you know very much, I've, I've never hacked, but I, you know, have been, I've had conversations with someone who could do, like, actual programming, you know, and and yeah, there's a lot of reading involved. So if you could read extremely fast, that would make you very very effective there. And yeah, you know she she explains the the yeah yeah she gives a, a status update and reads just like okay you know it's like. That's that's fantastic. I think based on what you how, how you said it, I did not understand a word of that. And and yeah, you know, the, they talk about you know how how do you decide who gets to to stay? And you know, she says there are certain things we don't forgive: murder, rape, and victimizing another mutant, which. You know, that is something that, you know, again, if, if we're, you know, talking about, like, LGBTQ plus individuals, you know, there have sadly been some cases where, you know, there, there, are, there are trans women who have been assaulted in women-only shelters. You know, so it is extremely important to not let in just anybody. You know, this doesn't mean that the the yeah don't don't suspect them just automatically but if you discover that they have victimized someone yeah and let's see yeah Lauren confronts Wes which I also really appreciate you know on on some level you know she does know you know she when she saw the drawing she said that could be anybody Kate points out you have to admit there's a resemblance, you know. So yeah, this is her reaching the the place where she can, you know, and and the the yeah, you know, he he tells the truth about it, you know, finally, and yeah, the the detail that you know he does regret it, you know, he's not this just terrible person and yeah we get the detail about you know Carmen says I remember the Marcos who just loved to burn things yikes which you know yeah the the like I mentioned earlier yeah some some people in their youth you know yeah Maybe especially men, but I know also some women do. Yeah. And let's see, then we have the... Oh, wow. I didn't realize... Huh. Charlie Nix actually appeared here. He was also on, on True Lies and burn notice and yeah he is indeed the son of Matt Nix who you know created the show uh, let's see yeah so moving on yeah Lodo very intense excellent makeup uh, like the little ridges he has on the just yeah and the I, I forget if I mentioned but fantastic makeup also on there's like a, a guy who's like basically his face is like black like mahogany black and and like he's got like a, a white thing covering part of his eye really really convincing 
you know, it's it's one of those things where, like, that would have been easier if you didn't also have to, like, talk and, and emote. But, yeah, they went the extra mile. You know, it's still convincing. Even, you know, there's a scene in this episode where he's talking to Polaris. You know, there's that, that thing about, you know, she, she says he should have been back by now. And he just says, should have, but isn't. You know, it's, yeah, really, really... Yeah, also the design, and I, th I think he might be from the comics. I feel like I've seen the, the yeah, that look before watching this show. And, let's see. Yeah, um, John and Clarice get to the, the farmhouse, and, you know, he's like, you, sh you shouldn't go in there if something bad happened. Which does, of course, make her, you know, d d dude, come on. That's, you might as well have said, there's ice cream in there. <laughs> like, it's just, yeah. And, and you know, she's like, maybe they got away. Look, I know it looks bad, but they were they were walking. They dropped a really big bag of, of human blood. One of them t t fired a, a gun at the, t you know, that door. They're perfectly fine. And let's see. Yeah, very cool when Polaris and Dreamer get the information. You know, these are cartel. There's not really any, you know, reason to treat them particularly well. So, you know, she, she grabs the, the gun, which until now was keeping him safe, and, like, puts the, the ah, what's it called? Yeah. The, the strap, which also, yeah, the, the strap is, is how he can be sure that, you know, you can't just easily get the gun away from him because the strap, but now it's being used against him. Very nicely done. And, and you know, Dreamer, she's not, like, against it. She says, like, you, you gotta lower the, the strap slightly for in order for me to get information out of him. And... Right, uh, good scene when Reed and Wes talk rules and trust. And, and yeah, you know, once Clarice has seen this, you know, she's like, I don't think this was my fight, but I guess it is now. And since it is my fight, we need a My Fight song. And, yeah, really compelling when, when Polaris sees Marco back to his old ways, you know, burning stuff, and, like, you know, the way he moves, and, and the look on his face, he does not look like he feels bad about it, and it's not like Carmen is gonna be like, oh, if you feel bad about it, then our deal is all, no, it's, you know, clearly some part of him still does feel that way. Yeah, um, you know, once Marcos returns, he does explain to Polaris, you know, and yeah, you know, it is still strained, understandably. And, you know, Wes tells the, the family, you know, I'm, I'm going to this other place tomorrow, and yeah, another good scene. And, and really devastating when the the text message, you know, from, from Carmen, you know, good to have you back, just, ugh. And she knows. She knows what she's doing. She's, you know, like, she could have just said, good work, you know, but no, good to have you back. I guess there is a little bit of, of like, Hell Hath No Fury trope going on there. But then it is a show with a lot of positive, you know, female characters. So, yeah, whether or not you think that makes it okay, it's, you know, individual. Now, ultimately, I would prefer if they didn't do that trope at all. And, and yeah, um, before he he leaves, you know, Wes does get a, a kiss goodbye from from Lauren. 
and we close on Jace seeing this room full of, you know, yeah, mutants that are going to be used as, as, yeah, agents in the, and to, to take out the mutant underground, and, you know, Dr. Campbell has the excellent line, we might actually be able to win this war.